Hey everybody, this is Peter Arulian. We are at Computex and we are in the Corsair uh, suite. We have been talking to uh, a raft of people here about some of the product innovation and awards that this team has won for uh, many of the announcements that they've made. And we're going to get a chance to look at some of those. We spent some time with the uh, Corsair One and Corsair One Pro, uh, which by the way garnered some awards that we didn't know about and so I uh, want to make sure we mention that. But now we're here with Harry Butler and Harry's going to take us through five or six various things that they've done that I think gamers are going to be really interested to hear about. Harry? Hi Pete, nice hey, to meet you. Thanks for the time. Um, first we're going to start here with Concept Slate. Um, tell us about Concept Slate. Sure, so Concept Slate is kind of our vision for the future of the Super Tower PC. We're targeting those guys that want the absolute maximum in features and customization and ability from their case that a normal ATX case just can't possibly provide. So in Concept Slate really just turns that all up to 11 in regards to how much hardware you can fit into it, how much cooling options, uh, just completely blows the doors off in regards to being able to do whatever you want with your full-on system. Uh, let's open the door and check it out because as you can see, we've got a lot of hardware inside this case. So within this system, we have two separate PCs. We have an ATX motherboard, although there's room for an eATX dual CPU motherboard. We also have a mini ITX motherboard built into the bottom of the chassis as well. So you've got two PCs in here. If you want to use one for gaming and one for streaming, or one for your main system and one for example your NAS box, you've got that all within one system. We've also got epic cooling on, on, on hand here. In this particular system, we have 26 cooling fans, cooling three separate huge radiators. This case can actually take up to 32 cooling fans in different push-pull configurations. Uh, and the cooling fans just in this build, $700 worth of product just to cool this one PC. Mm -hmm. It is really the, you know, the totally overkill system that we know that not everyone's going to want to build. But those guys that want to have the absolute best with no limitations, that's what this system is for. Now, the availability for this, I think you told me later this calendar year? Sure. So we're showing Concept Slate today as totally as a concept demonstration of what we think uh, or where we want to go with the Super Town PC. Mm -hmm. A PC like this, or very similar to it at least, will launch into the market from us uh, later on this year, probably in Q4. Okay. All right. So this is for that really, really... Uh, enthusiast gamer who's going to go and build uh, the most elite system that they can possibly, possibly build. This is impressive. I hope the camera is picking up the, the grandeur of this, of this uh, device. We're now going to walk right across here and look at another concept that they've got, uh, Concept Curve. Harry, take us through Concept Curve. So if Concept Slate is what's possible from a functionality standpoint, Concept Curve is what's possible from a material standpoint. So we've taken one of our existing cases, which is the Graphite 780T. We've removed all the side panels, all the top panels, and we've replaced them all with this gorgeous curved tempered glass. So you get this fantastic luxury effect. Then just to top it off, we've wrapped this case in hand laid carbon fiber worth more than $10,000. And then fitted it out with our full on range of DIY liquid cooling components. So everything you need to put CPU blocks, GPU blocks, radiators, all that stuff, all from Corsair. And this just, it, it looks fantastic. And what this concept's all about is getting people excited and interested in PC, in you know, building their own PC. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to just be a box that you build and then put in a corner or put next to your system. We want your PC to be something you can be really proud of and look at and just wow you every day. There and really is, um, for me, looking at your family of products, there's this notion of beauty in the hardware that carries through everything you do. And I'm hoping that the camera's picking up here um, the, you know, the pattern uh, and the sort of, as you move back and forth, you get this, this sheen that moves with you. Uh, it's, it's truly beautiful just to look at. And I know that that sounds a little maudlin, uh, but for the, for the performance gamer who really cares about the hardware, this is, this is absolutely the kind of hardware you're going to want to go and buy. Is this also something that conceptually we're going to see some version of Definitely. later in the year? Definitely. Probably not with $10,000 with a carbon fiber wrapped okay. on it, though. Well, you can just give me that. That's, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Again, something in Q4 or maybe Q1 next year to look forward to. Uh, a kind of a more, more tempered glass, room, but using the same layout as the 780T. Okay, that's great. Um, we're just going to turn around here. Over here. Yeah, you bet. Um, and we're going to talk about some of the software innovation you have. Tell us about how you rationalize what you guys have done with RGB across 
um, both the sort of input mechanics and the actual hardware? Sure, so we've been an innovator in kind of RGB lighting on PC peripherals and PC components for a long time. Um, but those two kind of different product categories have grown up completely separately. So we had our first RGB liquid cooler, for example, something like six or seven years ago. And then we added our first RGB keyboard three years ago. And as those product lines were developed, they had different software suites. So our PC DIY products are powered by Corsair Link. And our peripherals, our keyboards, mice, headsets, and mouse pads, they're powered by Corsair Utility Engine because we developed those products completely separately. Now we're unifying both those pieces of software uh, into a yet as yet unnamed piece of software we still trying to figure out. But what this is going to allow us to do is going to be able to, we're going to be able to finally synchronize all your lights across the entire system. So all your Corsair products will be able to control, be controlled in lighting mode from a single piece of software, which is the touch of a button. So with just one click, I can make the whole system sync up to be yellow, or the orange, or green, or go into a custom lighting profile that switches uh, between them. We can also have we can also synchronize lighting effects that go across the whole system. So a lighting effect can start on your keyboard and emanate onto your onto your system's lights. So let me switch me through those. Oh, that's really so cool. So as you can see, this 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 kind of wave of light started on the keyboard, went over the mouse pad, so then it's running through all the fans, and now it's going to come back around. Mm. And yeah, you know, this hacks this. Okay, this is lots of flashy lights, but it also has some practical effects as well. So by combining the two pieces of software, we can tie things like temperature cues or in-game prompts to all the lighting on your system. So as your PC starts to warm up or heat up, all the lights on your system will change color to indicate. So you know if your PC is running too hot or if it's running at a nice stable temperature. And then we were talking before, you actually have begun some um, development with um, game publishers. Definitely. Uh, so we have an open SDK that we offer to game developers. Lots of which you would know, but I'm not too many I can say just at this time. You don't have time. to tell us, it, but it's uh, sufficient to know that you're engaged with some of the meaningful PC game definitely, developers. Definitely AAA yeah. titles uh, to bring lighting uh, interaction uh, definitely firstly to our peripheral setup. So for example, an explosion in the game or health alerts, uh, you know, light up your keyboard in a certain way. And then hopefully we can extend that onto our system lights as well. Yeah. This is, this is great, and I, I like how you frame that. It, it, I think it's, it's okay to say, we love the beauty of RGB, right? That's fine. To take it to the next level of functionality and game integration is great, and this is where Corsair is going. Uh, we'll be excited to catch up with you later in the year when you make those announcements around some of these franchises that are going to take the technology. Definitely, and hopefully we'll have a name for the software by then as well. I'm sure you will. <laughs> um, okay, we're going to migrate into the um, uh, the next room. So follow us over here. Um, tell us first about Concept Zeus. Sure. So Concept Zeus uh, solves a really common problem that people have with wireless mice. So wireless mice have been around for a long time. Uh, that's nothing, you know, nothing new with RF technology. The problem with wireless mice is that you always get to the point where you forget to charge it, forget to plug it in, forget to put it in the cradle or swap the batteries out. And that means an interruption either into your game or into your workflow, which can be really annoying. What we've done is we've integrated Qi charging, or QI charging, if you've never heard it pronounced Qi, yeah. right into the mouse pad. So when you're done using your mouse, you simply move it over the charging spot. The mouse turns red. To capture that, that uh, turned red when you got it over the spot. So when the mouse is moved over the spot, it's uh, wirelessly charging. You move it there at the end of the day, come back the next day, mouse is ready to go with a full battery charge, and you didn't have to remember to plug it in or charge it or swap the batteries or anything. And then actually in use, it's just a normal wireless mouse. You use it, it's a high performance mouse that does everything you need it to do. Yeah, I mean, I have to give you real kudos here. And these, these guys have won an award, a Best of Computex award for this. This is, this is product design at its best. This is finding a consumer need and building something to answer that. Um, it, I, I love that. I, I'm excited for you to like, because th this is another product that comes later in the year. Yes, definitely. Right? I'm excited for this to hit the market. I think you're going to find rabid fans of this. I really do. <laughs> well, we've certainly picked up some fans this weekend. Uh, and what also I should add is because we're using a Qi wireless st charging standard, this works with not just the mouse, but with any wireless charging device that operates on that same standard. So we include a char adapter for your phone if you're not lucky enough to have that built into your phone. So as well as being a mouse pad that charges your mouse, it's a mouse pad that can charge your phone as well. So that's yeah. pretty cool. Multifunctional. All right, so last but certainly not least, follow us right over here. We're going to end 
uh, with the K68 mechanical keyboard. Uh, tell us what's going on in this uh, very fish tank-like thing. It looks pretty wet, doesn't it? So it does. the K68 is our dust and spill resistant keyboard. And we designed it basically with messy people in mind. Uh, we all know someone who spilled a drink on their keyboard or killed their keyboard or something like that. And the K68 hopefully is going to stop a little bit of that heartbreak. We've taken Cherry MX key switches, so that you know the gamer's choice for uh, for uh, mechanical key switches, and we've encased them in a silicon rubber shield. You can actually see on this. Pull in over here, here and he's going to show you what it actually looks like. So with the silicon rubber shield over the key, uh, obviously water ingress is significantly reduced. Not completely stopped. It's not entirely waterproof, but when you add the key cap on the top, it acts like a kind of. Uh, a little umbrella over the key switch mm -hmm. that means that you can pour a substantial amount of water over this key switch and have zero ingress, in, ingress into the electronics of the keyboard. We also have holes in the back of the keyboard so water drains right through and this means that when you're using a keyboard and nothing goes wrong it just feels like a normal great Corsa gaming keyboard. It has all our functionality of programmable keys and programmable lighting and all that stuff and when the worst or hopefully you know, when the worst does happen and you spill a drink or a snack on it it's super easy to clean, and if you spill liquid on it, it's very, very robustly defended against those fluids ingressing into the system. Yeah, this, there's, I don't know very many gamers who haven't accidentally spilled their soft drink or whatever it is, they, their beverage of choice, That's right. right over the keyboard in the act of some uh, uh, intense battle or uh, maybe someone comes into the room. So this, this is another place where Corsair is thinking about gamer needs and doing innovation. Definitely. I mean, as you said, yeah, we're probably going to sell fewer keyboards in the long run, though, because fewer people are going to get them damaged by water. Uh, yeah, <laughs> well, that's a good problem to have, um, innovation driving uh, consumer demand. Hey, so um, hopefully this has been as exciting for, for you guys as it has been for me personally. I've got to go through this now a couple of times with Harry, uh, but this really is some, some, I think, exciting product innovation for PC gaming. Everything from the Corsair 1 and Corsair 1 Pro, all the way through um, the work they're doing with chassis and uh, software for RGB lighting and uh, solving uh, consumer needs with um, you know, wireless charging mouses um, and defending against uh, the accident of, of spills and, and the like. Uh, Harry, thanks for the time. Big pleasure, um, thank you very much. This has been Peter Arulian here at Computex with Corsair. Be sure you check out these products as they start to come to market later this year. Thanks for joining us.